Mi naitwa Florida Ere. Naishi hapa Takwe, Turkana. Mimi naishi peke yangu na watoto sita. Kama sio tu u kulima ni ngumu sana. Turkana kuna majanga mengi ambayo wa inakumba. Kwa wakati wa kiangazi pia inakuanga ni maisha ngumu sana. Kwa sababu sasa huwezi panda chochote maana hakuna maji. Sasa ikiwashwa mimea hiyo yote, hawa watoto hakuna namna nyingine mimi naweza kuwalea. Wanabaki tu hivyo. Majanga ambayo huja huwa ina affect watu wote. Uwe mkulima, uwe mfugaji, uwe unafanya kazi, uwe inaadhiri. Lakini vile nimezaliwa haikuwa hivi vile jinsi saa hizi vile iko. Wanaishi walikuwa wanatumia tutaweza sema waganga. Hakuja. Wanawaambia miezi kadhaa zijazo kutakuwa na janga la njaa ama miezi zijazo kutakuwa na mafuriko na mvua kubwa. Mara wanakemea iende hata ikikuja iwezi kuja na makali. Siku hizi tunasikia habari kama sasa hii ya hali ya anga. Chifu atatutangazia. Kama serikali haiwezi kuleta habari kwa chifu, kweli hakuna kazi inafanyika ile nzuri. Kwa sababu huwezi pata habari. Lakini kuna watu hawapati. Early warning is a human right. It is the right to information. When people get information that there is an impending disaster, they are able to put pressure on political leaders to demand action. Africa is still very rural. A majority of our people live in villages. The good news is that mobile phone penetration in Africa is increasing at a very high rate. And the literacy rates are very much improved today than they were 30 years ago. If we develop a single interface for disseminating early warning for various hazards using mobile phones, I think we will be able to change the way we warn our people about impending disasters. In recent years, UNIP has been working on a project called Klimwarm, funded by the federal government of Germany and working with partners in three countries, Burkina Faso, Ghana and Kenya. There are many early warning systems, but none of them actually target vulnerable groups. One of the characteristics of Klimwarm is that it worked at the level of communities. It was possible to really target vulnerable groups to see how they were equipped to respond to hazards across the board. In this way, it was possible to get a much greater diversity of response and to build that in to actually generate an effective multi-hazard early warning system. The Klimwarn Prototype is a web-based uh, multi-hazard early warning system that is available online, but it can work on different platforms, even on, uh, on mobile phones. The prototype is based on a number of interlinked modules. One module monitors weather hazards. Another module describes vulnerability, which is the ability of the communities in particular areas to respond to these hazards. Now, these two combined form the risk assessment relative for each of, uh, of the administrative areas and towns. So it links all these to a communication module which issues warnings for extreme situations through SMS as well as email to anyone who should receive the information for a particular area. And that can be farmers, pastoralists, church leaders, disaster management professionals, etc., etc. We worked on the prototype to give an example of how a system like this can function, making use of available data and available technology. There are of course many other risks and hazards that can be built in, that can be pulled into the system. So a similar approach is possible in other countries. I am going to take care of all the anger. If you are not going to be able to find it, if you are not going to be able to find it, if you are not going to be able to find it, you are not going to be able to find it. It is important that you have to find it in the government. Kama serikali ingeongeza tena mikakati ingine ya kuteana hiyo habari ingekuwa zaidi kwa sababu kuna watu hawajui kusoma labda kuna watu hata hawana network hawajui hiyo habari
unaweza pata kwa nyimbo unaweza pata kwa inaitwa kwa midali na sasa kuna redio pia watu wangepata hiyo habari kwa uraisi, alafu ndio wajisaidie nayo Ya Allah, 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 ya